the formidable robot. October 7th, 2016. Gregory Horror Show. God, that name takes me back. To those uninitiated, Gregory Horror Show, or GHS for short, was a horror comedy anime created by Naomi Iwata in 1999. It is about a mysterious hotel at the edge of reality occupied by Gregory, a soul-stealing mouse bent on taking over the world, and the myriad of guests that call the place home. If you're unfamiliar with the show, you're probably familiar with the 2003 game for the PS2. There's still GHS-related media being made till this day, with an upcoming video game getting announced a few months ago. I loved it when I was younger, and I still do, but one thing about it frightened me, and it wasn't even from the show itself. I was scouring the web in October 2011, still a newbie to the internet. I had found a playlist containing every episode of GHS, but one video stuck out to me. Right in the middle of season 1 was a video that seemed out of place. It was entitled, in capital letters, Gregory Horror Show Secret Episode, Rabbit Coonish, with the thumbnail showing a picture of a bunch of rats tied by their tails. I've attached what I think could be the image I saw, but I'm still unsure. Curious, I clicked the video to see what it was. It started off a Windows Movie Maker title sequence saying, Yo guys! Just found a new episode of GHS! You all should watch it. It felt like it was gonna be some stupid screamer video at first, but then I thought about how it seemed weird to put it in the middle of a show archive, especially for something relatively obscure. The episode finally began with a shot of a hallway. Interestingly, the episode appeared to be from Gregory's perspective. You could hear the room keys he carries jingling and you could see his grey hands when he looked down. He sounded out of breath, exhausted. The hallway was extremely saturated with orange and red, which was strange, the walls were usually brown or a bit grayish. Another odd thing was it looked like the model of the hallway was using more realistic textures than normal, like they were photos taken of someone's house. The longer he searched, the more he appeared to be looking for something, or more likely, someone. Soon, he finally spoke. This can't be right, he said under his breath. James should have been in his room by nine, he's never disobeyed the curfew. Gregory's voice was nothing more than just an anxious whisper. He wasn't like his normal self in the show, which was overconfident and nefarious. Now, he was concerned, almost terrified. He peeked through numerous doors, trying to find his grandson, before something else caught his attention. The horrific squeak of chains, something approached from the darkness. Whistling soon followed, reminiscent of the song Judgment Boy would periodically sing as he traveled through the hotel. Gregory froze in his tracks, and the viewer could see the familiar glow of something pink and something gold. Held in cages, suspended by chains, carried by a so-called seer of truth. What are you doing here? Gregory asked, frustrated. You know why I'm here, Gregory. You're currently wondering whether to search for your kin or to sleep until dawn, a split decision, my specialty. Well, uh, obviously to see- Before Gregory could finish, Judgment Boy was suddenly staring at him with an expression of almost satisfaction. I know why the rat's tails bind, easy to see, unless you're blind. He sung to the tune of his theme. I know what they've done with James, and there's only one to blame. He smiles, seeming to mop Gregory's plight. Where is he? Please, tell me! Look behind you! As he spun around, the hallways changed to a black void, and we could see what had happened. Numerous corpses, some bones, some still with skin, were all bound together by the tips of their tails. Gregory's breathing got heavier as the squeaking of chains returned yet again. Here, we can finally make out James's body, weak and laying on the ground right by Gregory's feet. All owners who fall in Gregory's house, whether past, present, or future, end up here. Just another part of the Rat and Kunish. <laughs> Judgment Boy could be heard scoffing and laughing as the episode faded to black. What? I mouthed after watching the episode. 
The whole thing was off, this had to have been some sort of fan animation, right? But later that night, I had a bizarre dream that told me that the video wasn't ordinary, perhaps even supernatural. I was in my bedroom, lying awake, unable to close my eyes. It felt like I was paralyzed from the neck down, unable to speak. I could hear someone whistling outside, approaching the door, which was closed. It creaked open and I could see a floating figure slink in like a shadow. Do you know who I am? Its voice sounded familiar, but at the time I couldn't remember when I heard it. It was echoey, almost ethereal, but clearly not benevolent in nature. I tried to respond, but again, my lips were sealed shut. How does it feel to be an heir to the Rat King's throne? Suddenly, it clicked in my mind, and I could speak. But as soon as I did, I sat up awake, in a cold sweat. I tried to find the video, but it was gone. In fact, no one else online has brought it up. It was like it was tailor-made to me. Was it all a dream I had? No, no, no. It can't be. I can still hear the chains squeaking at night, right outside the bedroom door. March 22nd, 2017, update. I feel dumb, I feel numb. I can't see, I can't hear, I can't feel anything. All I can feel is the small notion of someone staring at me from the darkness. It got in, and it must feed. JB demands it from me. He wants me. This line was written in Frankie's dream diary roughly two hours before she disappeared. At the bottom of the page was a sketch of a human face, with obvious abnormalities. Visibly sharper teeth, a nose of a slightly different shade, V-shaped brows, and glasses that appeared more like markings. Underneath the sketch was Japanese kanji, or hante, meaning judgment. This was very confusing to us, since no one else knew it as a second language. We soon came to a conclusion that someone else had drawn and written what appeared in her journal. This thing was whatever my sister saw. Now finding this, I finally have a positive ID. The seer of truth, judgment boy. Or at least something that takes its form.